Hey, it's Paul Ring here. Let me ask you a question. Do you suffer with a uh, lack of distance or a big slice? Well, here's one of my current clients, Richard. He uh, came to me a few months ago. He's on the Progressive Programme and he was suffering with uh, a big slice and a real lack of distance. Um, so we got him on the video and here on the right was his original swing. So I put up a, a plane line for you to see, just so you can see his back swing and his down swing. As you see, he's got a good setup, but as he swings club back, his club naturally goes outside the line, and then even more so on the way down. And this is the key point here when the shaft is parallel to the ground, it's pointing way left to the target. So, this is always going to cost him a uh, real lack of distance, obviously, start the ball way left. If he ever does release the club, it's going to go a long way left. So, we got him to, we recognized that his downswing was being led from the his shoulders, especially his right shoulder. As he comes down, he's leading with the right shoulder, so he starts throwing it over the top, and some people would call this casting, and then obviously causing a lot of mistrikes, and also looks a little cramped. So here on the left, we got him to take the club back a little bit more around himself, so it's a little more compact, so stay a little close to this line. Get him to pause halfway at the top of the back swing, and as he comes down, lead with the arms first, and keep his chest facing the camera, for longer and you can see now how that sh club head and shaft are hugging the line much better and he's driving down the line towards the target and you can see his ball hitting off nice and straight okay so the key point for him was starting his downswing with his arms and not his chest or his shoulders um, he tried to keep his shoulder his chest facing the camera for longer as he started the downswing which allowed him to drive from in to out and hit the ball down the middle Okay, so hope this helps you as well. Thank you for watching my video and hopefully I'll speak to you soon.